Okay, we are back and in this video we will be setting up our solid element operations and really creating the remaining meshes that we want to have on our project site. Now, we just to do a quick recap here, we really have been working primarily with two meshes so far. We have our site topo, which covers really the extents of our property as well as a little bit outside. Um, and then we have our massing that we've modeled in for our actual excavation here. We can actually switch this over and make it a solid mesh. And um, so now we have a volume associated with it. Um, the next mesh that I want to create here is actually going to be one that's really going to act as like the dirt on the site. Um, meaning everything, you know, from our subgrade down. Um, and so um, we can quickly create one of these and assign it essentially to our um, topography would be one way of doing it, you know, meaning that we could we can model in a mesh and um, use a topography to cut the top. Um, the other option that we have is we could actually just take the topography and we could copy it and then uh, give it a depth. So we have some different options here. Um, I think what I'll want to do is let's, uh, I think I'll actually want to use our, um, I think I'll want to create a new one. And I think I want to set this up so that it's actually more a little bit within the boundaries of our properties. So what I'll do is I'm going to turn on our site, our civil site plan and we are just going to trace this out inside the boundaries of our uh, current site here. So, and we're going to include the adjacent site as well. So we're just going to click around here. And once we trace this out, we will actually use our topography as our solid element operator and we'll just trim the top of this. So right now all we're doing is just kind of focusing on building up a mass and so then we can use that mass to be carved out of um, later on. So, okay, so I'm going to snap here to that point. We'll continue this up to that point. And I think we can come straight over. Okay, so we've now added this new mass in. I'm going to set this so that it has some depth. And we're just going to call this site grade. Okay, and so now that we have these three meshes, let's just select them all, bring them all up, and okay, so this new one here, let's set the top to, well, we can go, I don't want to go all the way up there, we'll set it about the same height as our uh, excavation mesh. And we just want to make sure that we are dragging this down so that it's far below our project excavation. So we're going to go down 10 feet. Okay, there we are. Next step. So we're now going to start working with our solid element operators. And so to trim the top of this, we will actually pull up our SEO tab and we now we already have this set as our target. And so we can just simply select um, our topo as our operator and we'll do a subtraction with upwards extrusion, execute, and there we go. We now have our mesh that's being trimmed to the top, which is great. The next step here is we can actually take our, um, our massing and we can do the same thing. We can set this as the target. We can get our topo and we can trim our topo, uh, or we can use that as our operator and we can trim that as our top. So now both of these are the same. Next step here is we can now set this as our operator and we can set our other mesh as the target and we can just do a pure subtraction. So we execute this and we're starting to really carve out of our project um, that, um, 
the, the hole that we're essentially digging. So with this now, let's go ahead and we'll grab our mesh. And because this is something that's getting demolished, we can turn this on as a demolition layer. And we can even set this to a, a state where we can have it post demolition. So the last step here is we have our, our mesh here still, our topo, our topography. So we can actually use, um, we can use our, our main site here. Um, and it's important that we set the order of operations up there first, but we can actually use this to cut out our topography out of this. So um, by setting this as our operator, we can set our target and we can do a subtraction with upward extrusion, execute that and notice that it's maintaining our operators on our other elements there. So by cutting out our topography here, um, I'm now going to change this to a little bit different uh, surface here. We can just change this to, oh, let's just set it to like a grass just for, uh, so we get a little bit of contrast in here, grass brown. So we, we have our offsite, we have our onsite, we can change this one as well. We can just set this to like a sand gray, which I guess is the same that we were already working with there. And okay, and we can also see our pit here. So we switch this to a view that doesn't have any transparency and you can really start seeing what's going on here, which is awesome. So um, with this, I'm going to hit F5. And so we're going to bring back our other uh, work here and we can set this to after demolition and here we can start seeing our uh, site excavation being set up we can um, hide our property lines and there we go so we have our excavation we have our shoring and we are taking this down to the point um, where we are getting down to our foundation so we set this now to our plan status and you can start seeing our foundations here. So we can grab some of these walls. Um, we'll grab just a few of these. Let's just, um, we'll hide some of these temporarily. And just so we can start seeing um, that we are getting down to our foundation level, which is pretty awesome here. So um, yes, we can form up the edge of those. You can see that we got this nice sloping. Um, we'll have to form the edge of this as well. Um, but we could even start going through and um, we can make some adjustments here. Um, if we go back to like our demolition plan, well, tough to see and tough to work when uh, things are not quite as, when they're not transparent. So let's push this over just maybe like a foot. We'll do the same with this one. And so now, just by doing that, we go back to our plan status, and we can see that we can just shape this up to those foundations quite nicely there, so that we don't have to form up so much of those edges. Um, so yeah, we are looking pretty good at this point. Um, we got quite a bit of slope happening. Um, and next step here is we can really start um, we can take a look at our volume as well. So, um, so if we go to, in this case, we can pull up our, I'm just going to turn this on as a show all. So it's going to look kind of messy there. And the show all, well, yeah, we kind of are bouncing back and forth between having transparency and not, but with this let's go and check out our takeoff now so we can go to our earthwork we can see that we have our site topo so these are our site grade and our site topo but let's see here where is our excavation so one thing we should check is okay so this is based off a of plan status on this one so we need to go to our view settings 
And let's just turn this on so that we're showing all. So by doing that, that should bring in our excavation and fill. So there it is. We can see we're at $4 a cubic yard and we have a net volume of 600 and of, uh, what was it? 648 cubic yards. So we're calculating that quite nicely now. So we have a few little adjustments though that we could make as well. And so let's talk about that. So because we actually have, if we go to our, just our existing plan, we actually have some existing buildings here that right now we have these a little bit elevated. We're just going to call these uh, existing buildings. And so what I want to do is because these are set to our ground level, um, I want to set these, our bottom elevation here to minus eight feet. So let's just assume an eight foot depth for these buildings here. Maybe not the shed over here. I think, I believe that's a shed. We can check that real quick just by pulling up our civil site plan. Yeah, metal shed. So that can be pretty much on gray with maybe a little bit of a, a depth to it. Probably don't need the full depth that we're showing here. So we'll set that probably about like there. And so now with this, we can actually take these two and use these to calculate and to cut as well. So I'm going to just adjust this down. This is the garage. We'll set this down probably about to there for our foundations. Um, but we're not actually cutting that one out. So with this, we can go to our solid element operators. Um, and this is going to be essentially just our existing building that is already excavated. So um, these are our operators. This is our target and we are just going to subtract. Okay, so now we take a look at this and we are, cal we are pulling out the volume from our existing structure there. So when we go back to our earthwork calculation, we were at 648, we're now at 550. So we're starting to pull out some additional volumes out of this that we don't necessarily need to include because they're already excavated. So if we thought that wasn't enough, and if we needed to, say, go down a little bit deeper, say we did some research and we found that this was actually an additional, um, let's see, say it was nine feet instead, then we can just quickly make these adjustments and update our net volume. And you can see how much of a difference that makes. It's quite substantial just by adding one more foot to the depth of our existing excavation. So um, so yeah, with that, we are really starting to get this to work. Um, we have our soldier beams in here. We have our legging in here. Um, so it's nice because, you know, everything here we've gone through has just been doing modeling, but now we are automatically getting some of these quantities. Um, these here, we don't have them turned on in our current view, but I'd probably zero those out so we're not using those as, um, actually this one here, the site grade, that's one I would probably leave as like a clear and globe, clear and grub. Um, okay, so um, we are, yeah, we are starting to look pretty good with this. Um, I would say that um, we can start kind of translating these into some some views of our project. So I'm going to pull these up, make these look just a little bit more realistic here in terms of like, you know, what's going on on the site. Um, these are just existing buildings. So we can just kind of, uh, instead of having them being concrete, we can just uh, override these to be like an exterior. Where is it? partition exterior so we'll make them a little bit more of like a massing and so now I just want to get like kind of a nice view like this and we can go through and just kind of start creating some additional views here under our modeling for our excavation vases so we'll create a new folder 3d excavation views so this is our existing site. 
Let's switch this over to our demolition plan. In excavation, we go to the next stage after demolition. I'm going to change this over. So here is our next phase, which is um, excavated subgrade. And then, of course, we can start building this up. So new construction. So this is foundations. And of course we can have another view beyond this. We'll actually hide these for the moment. We don't need those piles just yet. So redefine with current. And then after we build the foundations, we can go in and add in our subgrade here, which is essentially going to fill us back in and then also fill in the areas underneath our slab on grade. So um, yeah, we will do that here coming up in the next video just to finish off um, this video sequence. And um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. And if you have any questions, then let me know. Um, but you can see here where you are kind of getting a little bit more detailed here into our views and um, yeah, we can now create these nice little sequences to uh, work through. So, okay, with that, um, we will catch you on the next video here. We will start building things back up using um, our backfill.